Hello, Christ Temple kids. Welcome to church. You have done amazing worshiping from home. Let's begin our service with a prayer. Say with me, Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for the church. Help me to understand the importance of church as I learn in your presence today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Boys and girls, name the picture. Have you seen this picture anywhere? Where did you see it? What name do we call it? Think about it. You got it. It is the ICGC logo. A logo is a sign that explains what a group is or what it does. Example is your school crest. In our lesson today, we will learn about a practice from the early church. It is an example for all believers. The main point in our lesson today is God wants all believers to worship together as one family. Take your Bible and let's turn and read today's scripture from Acts chapter 2 verse 40 to 47. Acts chapter 2 verses 40 to 47. And with many other words he testified and exhorted them, Be saved from this perverse generation. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized. And that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Then fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles. Now all who believed were together, and had all things in common, and sold their possessions and goods, and divided them among all, as anyone had need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. It's memory verse time. Our memory verse for today is taken from Acts chapter 2, Verse 42. Let's say it together. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. Amen. Can we say it again? Acts chapter 2, verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verse 42. As we read from Acts chapter 2, verses 40 to 47, when Peter spoke on Pentecost Day, about 3,000 people believed in Jesus and were baptized. And those who believed devoted themselves to the teaching of the apostles and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. 
and many miracles were done through them. They sold and shared their belongings among themselves. They worshipped together in the temple, went from house to house to fellowship, and God added more people to them every day. What lessons can we learn from the early church? The early church worshipped together in the temple and in their homes. We can worship God in our homes too. The Holy Spirit is there with us. The early church learned God's word together. We can learn God's word in our homes too. Spend quality time to take part in all Sunday lessons. The early church loved and cared for each other. You can continue to show love and care to your friends from church by calling them to find out how they are doing. The early church had communion together. When we take communion during our service at home, we are also practicing what the early church did. Even though we do not see each other, God sees us as one big family worshiping together the early church prayed together right there in your home you can join other church members to pray during your lesson times as we prepare for our 40 days of power it is important to join in all the prayers remember the practice of the early church in teaching they learned god's word together in fellowship, they loved and cared for each other. In breaking of bread, they had communion together. And they also prayed together. Remember the ICGC logo? It has four pillars. The four pillars stand for teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer. Anytime we see the ICGC logo, remember we are practicing what the early church did. That is, teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer. Now let's talk to God. God, build your church and make us one in teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread, and prayer. Amen. Let's go over our memory verse once again. Acts chapter 2 verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Amen. Remember the key words are teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread and prayer we have had a good time learning god's word today and it's been wonderful let's close our eyes and say a word of prayer dear god we thank you for every member of the church and especially the children's church bless us as we worship together from our various homes in jesus name Amen.